Oh, that little job for the East Empire Company paid quite nicely. And hopefully word will spread back to Solitude so I won't be so much of a distrustful face over there. Whenever I have to go back to check on the Scarlet. I don't know. I think I'd rather walk. Don't, I don't think I've made quite enough yet to hire a crew or dock workers or anything like that, but... Maybe that's where the folks down in Riften will come in handy. I mean, it's just south of here, right? South, but over rough, probably treacherous terrain. I'd rather take the cart, at least this time. That way we know for certain where we're going. True enough, but even if the Tholmo have no presence in Riften, I don't want to risk it. We've already shown our faces and made rather an impression here. Well, yes, but the Stormcloaks are in control here and they don't tolerate the Tholmo. I don't know if we could say the same thing about Riften yet. Hey, sorry to interrupt, but did you two say you was heading to Riften? Oh crap, you're blind. Sorry about sneaking up on you. I should have warned her. My fault. Right, Captain Etlo Gryazgush at your service. You two looking to hire a bodyguard? I'm heading that way myself and... No, we're not looking to hire a bodyguard, Miss Adlug. Aye, oh, Captain, actually. Travelling companion, for your charge, then. We're all headed that way, and the little miss looks like she could take care of herself, more or less. I've been told I'm at least somewhat competent. I don't know. Pardon me for saying this, but you look rather like a thug. Aye, oh, and my name rhymes with it. That's why they call me Lug the... <laughs> well, all sorts of things, actually. <laughs> Lug the thug. Among other things, so I, I'll tend to be a bit on the dangerous side, but I'm not looking for trouble from you two. I just heard you arguing about the car and the Thalmor and figured I might be able to lend my hammer if you want. Safety in numbers and all that. You have to admit that's prudent. It is. And very unlikely. You'd do that without us paying you. Eh. My last job paid well enough and I'm heading that way to talk to a man about a crew, so... I might as well. We'd all probably have met on the road anyway. And, if we all walk, it'll be less expensive for all three of us. Might be faster, too. Wait. Captain? You're a sailor? No wonder Myth thinks you look like a thug. Well, she looks like a pirate. A big, orcish pirate. We could talk about all that on the road. All you need to know is that I'll take care of my own, and as long as we're travelling together, you're my own. Sort of. Till we get to Riften, anyway. Sounds like a plan to me. And if we need to go back through that volcanic mammoth giant camp again, it might be a good idea to have someone else around. For intimidation, if nothing else. <laughs> Aye, I could certainly do that. I think I've intimidated your man here a little bit. Oh. Oh, he's, he's not. We're, we're not. He's... Just sort of helping me get used to. You haven't intimidated me. I'm just trying to decide whether or not I actually want to go to Riften now. Come on, Myth. Eretino's letter? Letter? Oh, yes. His message. Yes, I suppose that does take priority. And it will be a good deed for someone in Windelm. Fine. Let's go. Someone didn't get much sleep, I. Oh, well, yes. We were up in the small hours tracking down a killer. Oh, well, myth was. I was just mostly trying to keep up without running into people. Things? Easy. I can tap my stick. Are you keeping up just fine? Oh, well, yes. Uh, I guess ta I can tap my stick and not run into things, but people move. Goats. Yes, they do that. We still haven't quite figured out why. Alright. Who knows? Maybe it's the changing of the guard or something. Anyway. Sorry for the rough night then. Hopefully we'll get to rift in sooner rather than later so you can sleep. Hopefully. Oh, my name is Sura. Uh, Siralata, actually. Careful. I'm being careful. There... well, there was more to my name, but then I got disowned. 
eye. And I'm not going to ask about the eyes. Well, long story short, it's been rather a rough week. I've been having my own private oblivion crisis, minus the gates and the Daedric hordes. You know a lot of stuff about history, eh? I was a devotee of Xerxes. It is a bit harder to maintain that particular faith without being able to read, but... Myth is helping. Are you lot keeping up? Having to guide a blind person is new for me as well. Alright, good to know. We all, we all settled, we all good? I think we're all good, lead the way. If we ever fall behind, just don't worry about it. It's probably Myth trying to keep me from catching my feet on something. Right, good to know. Oh, gods. Fog. Gotta love it. Right, Rifting's gonna be down that way. So they really rubbed salt in that wound, didn't they? Uh, oh, yes, very much so. I'd go so far as to say they rubbed well what shit in it, but that would be rather uncouth, even for me. <laughs> Don't worry about language around me, little miss. I've probably heard several flavours of worse in my day. Might have said a couple too, but I like to be creative with my insults. I would claim to be a cultured gentleman, considering the city I grew up in, but I did not exactly grow up in the cultured part of Blacklight. Alright, know that feeling. Excuse me, who's this? I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. I've got a letter and a lot of gold. Something about it being your, uh, oh, inheritance. Oh, and sorry for your loss. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Excuse me, who died? What? Uh, I'm not sure which of us this is supposed to go to, but someone named Rolf Stonefist is apparently dead. Oh, pity. We walked in to hear him yelling at that Dunmer lady standing in the front of the... the gate. Did you do it? Well, I can't confirm or deny. Oh, he's a cagey bastard, isn't he? Oh, you have no idea. It might have been for us, actually. That letter. We didn't accost him or anything. But... Who knows? Aye. Oh, I know the feeling, by the way. Mr. Myth. I grew up in Anvil. And not like the rich part of Anvil, but the crappy off shacks around Anvil. Let's just say trying to live a settled life didn't exactly agree with my parents. Is that why you're in Skyrim? Looking for work? Ew. Finding trouble, more like. Oh well, trouble finding me. Mum, Dad and my brothers and sister are all back somewhere around the Iliac Bay, probably. I'm the oldest, so I got to spread my wings first. There's a saber cat over there. We're going to move. And keep moving. Ah, taking a break from being my mum's first mate. Oh, that sounds lovely. A family of sailors. Merchants? Eh, not in a conventional sense. <laughs> what about you? Well, my family business is in the mystic arts, and I was the youngest. And the wild child. Oh, good gods. Hold that thought. 
What? There's a bloody giant. Two mammoths. An entire pack of wolves. Doing something. And some Dunma guy. I resemble that remark. Anyway, I wanted to give the mammoths a chance to get out of the way. A wolf is going to be a problem though. Maybe. That's a bit disconcerting. We're going to try to get past without getting into a fight with some mammoths because I don't think that's going to end properly. For us, anyway. Come on. Stick uh, stick around the cliffs here. I don't want to tangle with them today. Goats. Careful you don't fall. And those... Uh, those wolves are kind of... Might be something wrong with them if they're trying to take down mammoths. I think you might have a point. Okay, we seem to be in the clear. What were you saying about your... something? Uh, oh. Wild child and the only daughter, so if you're asking whether or not I would have inherited my occupation... Not really. My business was to find a proper man with whom I had good... Star luck? Oh, guys, what happened here? Oh, someone got in the way of uh, more mammoths and giants, I guess. Moving on. Wait. What the... Attention Citizen Bree, the giant here has been given leave to keep his camp. Please do not attempt to make trade disrupt the mammoths gawk at or otherwise disturb the giants. Rest in here is not advised. Well, that's good to know. Oh. I'm littering. Alright, Rifton's this way. Uh, Starlock? Is that what she said? Well, that's not really a good translation for it in the common tongue, but the gist of it is find a proper man, settle down and have lots of sons. Didn't really suit you, I take it. Oh god, not at all. I would rather have been a nun. And what about... Excuse me? I'm on a pilgrimage to the Shrine of Azura, the Goddess of Twilight, if you excuse me. Are uh, you having some trouble with wolves? Anyway, I'll uh, be on your way, I guess. Until next time. I didn't know there was a shrine of Azura here. Well, maybe I did. Yeah, he's doing wolf things. Alright, we're ready. Okay. Hey, and just to put you all on the spot, too. What about you? Kind of appropriate, a scholar ends up travelling with someone named after... I'm not named after... Myth is a perfectly reasonable Dunmer name. And I am sort of... Well, this is not gonna end... They're gonna attack us this... About as many of us as there are of them. Here we go. Oh! Oh crap, you can fight! Well, sort of. I can sort of hear where things are and swing the club in that general direction. Well, it works. Whatever works. I haven't heard much about your family. Just that your father is Master Idros and that we shouldn't call you that. True. Well... He's rather an important person back home. Hey, good on him. Started from the bottom and worked his way up, did he? And did his best with me along the way. Even though I wasn't exactly planned. 
Taught me the tricks of the trade out of necessity, and here I am. Looking for work, just passing through, observing the bears. Alright. Don't. We're here. You know we're here. Don't do it. We're moving on. Thanks, bear. Hey. Yo, bear. Hey there. You're not going to try anything, are you? There's only one of you. You have such a way with animals. Eh. You said you want to be along for intimidation. Here we are. Oh. Shit. What was that? I don't know. Right, we're just moving along. Are you coming? Shh, what in the gods is that thing? That would be a pack war. Welcome to Morrowind Fauna, I suppose. What in the goats is a guar doing in Skyrim? I think it belongs to that peddler we passed. What? Guars, or oh, peddlers with guars. I've seen everything. Uh. Oh, which one of these paths do you suppose leads to Riften? Your guess is as good as mine. Heh, <laughs> great, okay, so we're going up this way then. So, what is your trade exactly? I know I've tried to get it out of you. I think I asked you if you were a mercenary or a spy or something. Well, my father is an organizer of sorts. He has many, many connections now and runs a rather comparatively large subsection of an operation that is reinventing itself, shall we say. One of the great houses, then? Oh, no. Gods, no. We do deal with them, and we are both technically under the jurisdiction of House Redoran, because we own property in Blacklight, but no. No, my father is more like a businessman. Nothing illegal, I assure you. Are we going to deal with these wolves? Uh... You three just move along, we'll get off the road, come over here. Be on your way, Mr. Wolf. Oh, maybe not. Come on, follow me. Yeah, 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 shut your doggy, yep. Wolves. Right, nothing illegal, you say, but you... Oh. Should probably specify if that's illegal in Morrowind terms or illegal in everywhere else terms. Well, Morrowind certainly. I haven't been out of the country enough to... know how Morrowind's laws compare to everywhere else. <laughs> and I've never been to Morrowind, so... But, I know at least one song about it. Well, Sea Shady. Oh? Oh, for just one time I would take the bleak rock passage. Ain't something, something. I love so slime. In that frigid northern sea. And I'd have to think about the rest of it. That was very good. I can't say as I've ever heard that one. <laughs> I think I know songs about... Well, just about everywhere. Mostly. Sort of. At least in a vague sense. We just walked past a bear. I think it was sleeping, and I don't blame it. Do you know any songs about Shimmering? That's where I'm from. Oh. 
Do I ever? Uh, let me think about it for a second. Uh, I think it starts. That bear better not have followed us. Give me a second. Let's make sure the bear didn't follow us and then I'll regale you with the uh, songs and whatnot. Any bears? Any bears? I don't think so. What is this? What is this? Well, it looks like a town. Mm -hmm. Right, we'll get through the town then. And then say something about... Stuff. It's a nice little town, this. What is this here? The Tapped Vein. I think it's a tavern. That would follow. Excuse me, coming through. Whose horse is this? Who knows? Oh. Sorry. I'm trying to keep the rain out of my eyes. But, uh... You don't... You're, uh... Yeah, I'm a little bit blind, but... Oh shit, there's a thing in the road. Alright, uh, we're going bushwhacking. Be careful. Uh, right. I don't exactly have the reflex of closing my eyes when something gets in them anymore, so I'm doing my best to keep myself from getting into trouble there. Right. Oh, is this going to be fun? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, let's find the road again. Or oh, a path. This will do. Watch your feet. It's a bit of a drop. Oh, shit, you're over here. No, oh, you found the road. Nice. Right, a song about shimmering, she asks. It's a damn tough life, full of toil and strife. We well and men undergo. And we won't give a damn when the gales are done. Just how hard the winds deep blow. Cause we're homeward bound from the northern ground. With a good ship taut and free. And we won't give a damn when we drink our rum with the girls of Shimmerine. Rolling down to Shimmerine, me boys rolling down to Shimmerine. There. We're homeward bound from the northern ground, rolling down to Shimmerine. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, the bear's behind us. Hello. Jeez. Oh, sorry. No, that was very good. Oh, very good. Crap. You almost hit me, but... Uh, yeah, I kind of figured that. I sort of brushed up against you, and sorry about that. You have a very nice voice for a sailor. Yeah, thanks. Got a lot of practice shouting over waves. You coming? You coming or what? Oh, Alright. Did get your bear rest back here. Oh, Sierra, don't you chase it. You're gonna get lost. Where did it go exactly? A bit to your right. What the crap? 
Maybe she's got a bow. Therefore you don't hit someone up there. Did you get it? I believe so. It is rather hard to shoot in the rain, but here we are. But yeah, there's more to that song, but uh, I think we're in Riften, so... Might as well quit to singing, eh? For six hellish months we passed away on a cold at Morgan Sea. That's a bit too low even for me. Oh well. Right, goes. Kind of a pretty place, isn't it? Sort of reminds me of uh, the coast of Cyrodiil, this. The foliage. Except colder. Where it did Myth go? Oh, there he is. Jeez. You're kind of quiet, you know that? Well, yes. I pride myself on my stealth. What in the goat? I don't know. Oh, we're going up the path behind you, by the way. Might want to turn around. Oh, look. Khajiits. What are Khajiits doing in Skyrim? So I can find out later. Oh, the traders. That makes sense. Hello. What's going on? Hold there. Oh. Yeah. Something. Something the better. I'm not sure. Oh, jeez. There's a crow up there. Scavengers. Right. Before I let you into Riften, you need to pay the visitor's tax. Eh, uh, right. What's the tax for? For the privilege of entering the city. What does it matter? Well... This is obviously a shakedown. All right, keep your voice down. You want everyone to hear you? I'll let you in. Just let me unlock the gate. Thanks. Well, go unlock the gate then. Just gonna stand around here in the rain. Bastard. The gate's unlocked. You can head inside when you're ready. Thank you very much, sir. Well, that was handy. Alright. So, yep. Yeah. As far as I've read, this is potentially one of the scummiest cities in Skyrim. You be warned. Let's go. And we're in. I had another run in with the Thieves' Guild. Oh, great. Be careful, Neil. The Thieves' Guild has Maven Blackbriar at her back. One snap of her fingers and you could end up in Riften Jail. Or worse. They represent the reason I'm here. I can't just ignore them, Meren. I'm going to Riften, I guess. I know. I just don't want you to leave. You're the only good thing that's happened to this city in a long you. time. You and Riften looking for trouble? Oh, uh, what's it to you? Don't say something you'll regret. Last thing the Blackbriars need is some loudmouth trying to meddle in their affairs. Are you calling me a loudmouth? Who are the Blackbriars, exactly? The Blackbriars have rifted in their pocket, and the Thieves' Guild watching their back. So keep your nose out of their business. Me? I'm Maul. I watch the streets for them. If you need dirt on anything, I'm your guy. But it'll cost you. Dirt, eh? Well, I'm not exactly clean myself. Then we're speaking the same language. Good. So what do you want to know? Uh, anything you all want to know? I would like to know more about the Blackbriars. They sound like... They sound like people we should probably stay away from. Well, you got Maven. She pretty much runs the whole operation. 
She's got friends in high places, if you know what I mean. She's also got ties to the Dark Brotherhood and the Thieves Guild. So basically, no one can touch her. Just remember, if she tells you to do something, you damn well better do exactly what she says. What is this about the Dark Brotherhood? The only thing I heard is a rumor that a boy named Aventus Aretino in Windhelm has been attempting to contact the Dark Brotherhood. He used to live here in Riften at the orphanage on the other side of town, but I think he ran away. Can't say I blame him. Right. And what about the Thieves Guild? You kidding? My brother Dirge works in their hideout. I used to run with them myself, but took a job with Maven after they started hitting a rough patch. If you want to get in on that action, find Brynjolf in the marketplace. I'm sure he could use someone like you. Thanks for the information, Mr. Mole. Be seeing you around. Right. What a lovely gentleman. Welcome to Riften, home of the Thieves Guild. Nope, I'm sorry. sure they'd have you ready. It's all lies. Nice. They're just thugs. Vermin, creeping around the bed. I know I did. How was I to know the shit right. would get blocked? Next time, keep your so, hands quiet. This is a fun little town, isn't it? Let's get into the in and out of the rain, eh? I like that idea. Look, Shot, the last warning. Pay up or else. All I care about is the gold. Everything else. If you've got the coin, you've come to the right place. Pull up a seat. People of Riften. Oh, jeez. Looking for work? Go. I need someone to deliver a message to Sibby Blackbriar. Well. This is one of the signs. The signs that Lady Mara is displeased with your constant inebriation. Put down your flagons right. with your vile liquids and embrace the teachings of the handmaiden of Kai. What were you saying about no, quiet? No. Right. Talon. Kira. Certainly, we can come to some sort of an understanding. There's an upstairs. People must be made aware of the chaos they've sown. Enough, yeah. Maramara. We've all heard of the dragons and their return. There's no need to use them as an excuse to harass our customers. Very well, Talon. I'll remove myself from this den of iniquity. We're not kicking you out. Just keep the sermons at the temple and let us all sin in peace. You haven't happened to heard it. You wouldn't have happened to hear anything about the return of dragons. I, I haven't heard anything, and haven't come across any dragons either. Ah, oh, good to know. By the way, I'm sure you got your business. I've got mine. Welcome to Riften, home of the Thieves Guild, among other things. I guess. This where we split up? I think that might be for the best. Yes. If you have to see somebody about a crew. We'll be heading back to Windelm as soon as it's convenient and probably not storming. So, it was good to meet you, I think. It's good to meet you, I think, too. We'll just hunger down here for a while. Ah, uh, thank you for... Watching our backs on the way here. It was a lovely song, and if you ever need travel companions again, all right, I'll see if I can find you. Or something. Anyway, back out in the rain I go. See you around, Miff. See you around. See you around, Adlug. Right. So there goes on some problems. Probably with the uh, guild. Oh, gold. Nice oh, thunder. This is a place full of uh, stuff. Excuse me. And who are you exactly? Never done an honest day's work in your life for all that coin you carry. Hey, lass. Uh, what is that supposed to mean? I'm saying you've got the coin, but you didn't earn a septum of it honestly. I can tell. Right, and how can you possibly know that? It's all about sizing up your mark, lass. The way they walk, what they're wearing. It's a dead giveaway. Alright, that does sort of make sense. I do look the type, don't... Well, actually, before I say I look the type, what exactly do you mean? 
Look how you sniffed out my little scheme at the North Gate. You knew it was a shakedown and you called him on it. That's what All I'm talking about. Guaranteed clean and free from rock joints. You seem to be well acquainted with the business of wealth. Wealth is my business. Help me out and I can add to yours. Would you like a taste? I think I know what you've got in mind, but... Surprise me. What do you have in mind? I've got a bit of an errand to perform, but I need an extra pair of hands. And in my line of work, extra hands are well paid. Okay. What have I got to do? Simple. I'm going to cause a distraction. You're going to steal Medesi's silver ring from a strong box under his stand. Once you have it, I want you to place it in Branche's pocket without him noticing. Yeah. Which one's Branche? That one over there. I suppose I'll find out. But uh, why are we doing this exactly? There's someone that wants to see him put out of business permanently. That's all you need to know. Now. You tell me when you're ready, and we'll get started. Gems, potions, yeah, all right. All. Somebody wants him out of business? Anything else, or is that it? We've been contracted to make sure Branche remembers not to meddle in affairs that aren't his own. Now, since we're not the Dark Brotherhood, we're not going to kill him. We're just going to make sure he sits in the prisons for a few days. Alright. Okay, let's get this started then. Wait a minute. I got on his face. Anyway, let's do this before it gets too much darker out, eh? Good. Wait until I start the distraction, then show me what you're made of. Alright. Ev everyone, gather round. I have something amazing to show you that demands your attention. You need to hear this. Where's Brain Shane? Where's what's his nuts? No pushing, no shoving. Plenty of room. Who's standing my Robin? Come on, bring y'all. What is it this time? Patience, Branche. This is a rare opportunity. This one, I think. I wouldn't want you to get left out. That. Oh shit! Come on. I'm warning you, back off! And it turned out to be crushed through the mix of water. Well, that was a simple misunderstanding. But this item is the real thing. Oh, exactly stealthy. I give you Balma blood The problem nope. is your disrespect is for the loss of this land. Tomorrow, it's time to face the Jarl's justice. Well, crap. How about I pay you some gold and you look the other way? Well, maybe just this once. But there is still a price on your head. Better make yourself scarce, or we'll have to do this little dance again. You uh, remind me of the shadow scales from the old histories. I... I do? But why? Well, shit. Crap. Or the cracker. Fine. Oh, uh, uh. Another fine day in Skyrim. Can't understand how people live in Winterhold. I was going to ask you about your tattoos, but anyway, uh, be on your way. All right, then. Well, that didn't go exactly according to plan, did it? I guess I expected too much from you. I didn't think you'd get pinched. Can't say I'm surprised with the way things have been going around here. Well... I was going to say I'm not exactly the stealthiest individual, if you haven't noticed, I'm more of the, you know, back someone into an alley and... Oh, anyway. What's been going on? Nah. My organization's been having a run of bad luck. But I suppose that's just how it goes. But never mind that. Even though you fouled up the job, I still think you've got the spark I'm looking for. There's plenty of gold out there for the taking, if you're up to the challenge. Eh... <laughs> As long as I don't have to do too much sneaking and picking of pockets, you know. I'm sort of a, a, a plunderer more than a pickpocket. All right, then. Let's put that to the test. The group I represent has its home in the Ratway beneath Riften, a tavern called the Ragged Flagon. Get there in one piece, 
and we'll see if you've really got what it takes. All right, should be a piece of cake. See you down there. Uh, yep, bring your right. See you down there, bring your. I just gotta get down somewhere. Maybe that'll do. Ah, oh, there's the orphanage. Nice. And here, I think, is where we've got to go. Probably. Oh, it's not my smoothest work ever, but there. Not exactly on my worst either. Ah, oh, this looks great. Someone trying some intimidation on me. Actually, anyone down here? I don't know, Trough. They'd skin us alive if they knew we were doing this. Ah, oh, how's it going? <laughs> oh, oh, jeez. All right. There we go. Shoot. Well, that's nice. Got a new hairpiece. <laughs> Take that. You lot really didn't think this through, did you? Oh, no. Okay. Yep. Not today, low life. There's a door in here. Excuse me. There you go. Got to love that. Oh. Ah, oh, this must be where that lady came from. I will go ahead and make things easier on myself. Rolls in here. A big X. Not to be confused with the pickaxe. Well, dodge that. Hey, well, that's why I take the. Hi, big guy. Come on, come on. Never try to fist fight someone with a war hammer. Oh, nice though. Ooh. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Well, I hear skivers that. Bring you off expecting me and I think I might have gone the wrong way. Luckily I'm faster than that thing. Uh oh right, that's the way I came up. Which means this must be the flagging. Oh. Oh shit, look at this place. No, this is a tavern. Someone's even got a guara in here. Look at that. Oh, this is kind of a snazzy guara, actually. Things I didn't expect to find in Skyrim. But here we are. This is a nice little place. Give it up, Renio. How would they? I'm telling you, this one is different. We've all heard that one before, Bryn. Quit kidding yourself. It's time to face the truth, old friend. Talk to me again when you've proven yourself to Bryn Yolf. Yeah. Breed. Things are changing. Dying breed, eh? Or what do you call that, then? Oh, uh, hi, mateys. Well, well. Calling me impressed, lass. I wasn't certain I'd ever see you again. Yeah. 
Yeah, neither was easy. Although I'm sort of wondering how you got here before me. Didn't take me all of, what, five minutes to get down here? Reliable and headstrong? You're turning out to be quite the prize, so... Now that I've whetted your appetite with our little scheme at the market, how about handling a few deadbeats for me? Now you're talking my language. What'd they do? They owe our organization some serious coin, and they've decided not to pay. I want you to explain to them the error of their ways. Sounds good. Who am I punching? Kirava, Bursi Honeyhand, and Helga. Do this right, and I can promise you a permanent place in our organization. How do you want me to handle it? A uh, warhammer or fists? Honestly, the debt is secondary here. What's more important is that you get the message across that we aren't to be ignored. A word of warning, though. I don't want any of them killed. Bad for business. All right, consider it done. Good. If you need any details on your marks, I'll be here. Now get going. Oh, aye, aye, Captain. I think I'm good. Just punching people, right? I'll be here when you're done. All right. Dame. This is a nice looking place. I could get used to sitting around here. Yes, I could. Ah, oh, crap. Well, I'll talk to the... I'll talk to the anvil sounding guy after we've dealt with these people.